show uh, yeah. at Edinburgh. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, what you're doing here? I'm doing my own solo show. Uh, it's my fourth one now called Teenage Mutant Nathan Clayton. Um, merchandise. Boom. Um, yeah, uh, it's my fourth show, as I said. And it's a, it's a story about my family and my mum, my brother. It's a lot of family tales and stuff. And so how's it going while you're up here? It's, it's, it's all right. People are coming, people are laughing, so that's that's the least I can hope for, man. Um, they're not booing. I'm still alive. Is this show heading out on tour as well? Or? Hopefully. I've got a few dates penciled in. Um, so, yeah, watch the space. Hopefully it'll, it'll be seen. You've seen it around England and stuff. Absolutely fantastic. And, of course, uh, one of the big reasons is I've walked into... Uh, it's yeah, very man. difficult to walk into a Brentford fan as it is, uh, in uh, in <laughs> Edinburgh especially. Yeah. Um, so, um, what, tell us, why Brentford? Um, I'm, a, I'm a West London boy. I'm from Greenford. Um, born and bred, been there all my life. Brentford's just around the corner. I uh, support my local team, man. How are you feeling about Brentford being in the Championship? Brilliant. Thank... <laughs> oh, I can't swear. But, you, you know what I mean. Thank goodness. After... after Season before last, that trauma on the last day against Doncaster. Oh man, that was heartbreaking, man. That's the only time I borderline cried at football. Um, so yeah, but now that we, we got there now, feeling good, got a good squad. Um, yeah, I think we can stay up, man. We've got the players, we've got the squad to survive. And do you think uh, Championship was something Brentford should get used to over the next uh, few years? Yes, with the players that we've got, if we keep all of our quality players, then yes. Um, I think if we moving to a line of road and we're still in the championship then we are set we are in a very good place and uh, we were just talking before we started yeah. about Fulham on Tuesday night yeah. uh, how do you feel about uh, a grudge match um, it's been a while isn't it yeah I'm, I thought I can't go though because I'll be abroad um, I know I've uh, got a commitment to that, but yeah, um, yeah I'm looking forward to that rivalry uh, Fulham it would have been even better if QPR had stayed down um, so we could have QPR and Fulham as well but yeah have fun having Fulham Wicked. I'm looking forward to it, and um, we're not doing too well at the moment. Shame. Yeah, we're doing, not doing too well. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the game. Should be good one. So you're looking, trying to get to the ground as much as you can this season? Or? Yes, I've uh, this this time around I've been quite smart because this is my first time in the championship for like 20 odd years. Um, I've booked a lot of my gigs around the fixture list. So when we're at home, I'm only gigging in London, and then like um, when we're away to Wigan, I'm gigging in Manchester, so I can go. So we start. Uh, yeah, it's, I'm working around my gig list, around the pictures. That's what I'm doing. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, Nathan. <laughs> All the best for the tour and the cool. show. Cheers, bro. Cheers, man.